my name is Beck and welcome to my reading pile for March. I have ambitious goals so I doubt that I'm going to get to everything on this list but I'm excited about it nonetheless and I'm just going to see what strikes my fancy. And so naturally the first book on this list is a very long one. It is The Hero of Ages which is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy. I have a review for the first book that includes spoiler free and spoilers. I'm also at the time of filming this in late February still reading the second book and so I anticipate that I'll finish that by roughly the end of the month and then dive into this sometime maybe in March. I know there's also a readathon from G from Book Roast in March and it goes from the 14th to the 20th and I do want to participate in that and I don't want to read a long book for that so I have that in my mind like in the back of my mind and I'm trying to plan this around that readathon so that I don't have any crossover because nobody wants to read a 700 page book for a week-long readathon so I am looking forward to getting to this. Mistborn is a high fantasy but it's easily accessible if you are a new or old fantasy reader. It follows Vin but it is an array of perspectives. It is mostly Vin though and she's a street urchin. She gets picked up by Kelsia and in this world ash falls from the sky. There is a Lord Ruler who has an oppressive grip over this city and so Kelsia forms a thieving crew and it's a heist set in a fantasy world and they're trying to overthrow and thus kill the Lord Ruler. This is the third book in the trilogy. Obviously I'm not going to say what this is following because otherwise it'll spoil you but go and check out my other content. I'll link my Brandon Sanderson playlist down below for you. And then next is a book that I usually wouldn't put on a reading list for myself but I was talking to a friend at work and he recommended this to me and it's Chasing the Scream and I think this is non-fiction or a form of non-fiction. Uh, I know it's about drugs and that's it really. I think it follows drugs and addiction but I'm not sure in what capacity. Uh, it says on the back, drugs are not what we think they are, addiction is not what we think it is, and the war on drugs is not what we see on our TV screens. That's really all I can share with you. I don't know anything beyond this. I'm going to try it out and see if it's any good to my taste. We'll see. I don't usually reach for stuff like this, so it will be interesting to see what I think of it. And then we have a new release, and that is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. This is her newest book. It's a standalone. It comes out in March, and I want to say a huge thank you to New South Books for sending me this review copy. I'm so excited. Actually, I sat down to film this video, and I had a parcel from them, so it was very well timed. So I'm quite looking forward to getting into this one. I'll have my thoughts in a separate video. It's just a V.E. Schwab book. She tends to find different forms of writing about morality and identity in her work. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this one entails. And it is a standalone and I think it's going to be quite quick to read. So maybe I could read it during the readathon. Who knows? I don't know. I'm excited regardless and I will read it this month. And then another new release is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. And this is an adult urban fantasy and it has dark academia in it. Beyond that, I'm not really sure what it entails. I know it was a self-published work and it's since been picked up by Tor slash Hachette, who are the Australian distributors, I think. I have pre-ordered this regardless. I'm sure it'll rock up eventually, but I'm not sure whether it will rock up beginning or middle or end of March. So it's on my TBR. Maybe I won't get to it until April. Who knows? It's on my list anyway. So I hope that I'm somebody who really ends up liking it and then it doesn't tend to be a book that gets hyped up that just is not to my reading taste. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for this one. And then onto more books that I actually own are Magic Bites by Alona Andrews. Yes, I'm finally wanting to dive into Alona Andrews this month. This is an adult urban fantasy story. It has romance in it as well, I believe. The main character, Kate Daniels, is a mercenary and she cleans up magical problems. So again, it's a very similar premise to Dresden, who is a wizard detective and he solves supernatural murders in Chicago, and that's in the Dresden Files. I'm looking forward to having a female protagonist, and I'm looking forward to seeing what all of this story entails because I've seen people talk about this and really enjoy it and so I finally want to be on the bandwagon for this series. And then it's funny that I mentioned The Dresden Files because Jim Butcher is the author I want to talk about next with Furies of Calderon. This is a beginning of a fantasy series like a high fantasy series by this author and I've only read The Dresden Files by him so I'm looking forward to jumping into something else that he has written and I know this is about a boy who I think has a bond with animals or something and there is a fantasy quest in there and it has Digimon or Pokemon like 
like uh, references in it, or not references, but like a formula in it because of a challenge that Jim Butcher took on and then wrote this story as a result. So I'm looking forward to diving into this. If Jim Butcher's character work in the Dresden Files is anything to go by, I love the characters and I love the plot twists and the pacing of those stories. So I'm looking forward to getting into something a little bit longer by him, as well as a fantasy book, which is my favorite genre. I'm excited, but I also know that I want to read The Hero of Ages in the same month. So if I don't get to this, then it's because I was reading Hero of Ages, but I do have optimistic hopes that I will get to this. If it's not this month, it will be this year because it's on my radar. I really want to read it. And then as far as audiobooks go, I was going to listen to Red Rising last month and I just didn't get to it. And so maybe that will be my carryover. I want to listen to that still because I really liked it. It's a reread for me. The whole series is a reread. So Red Rising and then also I didn't get to Night's Shadow as well, which was on my last TBR. Those are two books I've already read. So the fact that they're carrying over is not really stressful to me. They're kind of just in the kind of edges of my mind. Like oh, I would like to reread these when I can make time for them. And I actually started a different audiobook instead, one that I hadn't read before called Autobiography. So I was reading that instead of my rereads. So in terms of audiobooks, I'm still at the same place I was before. I haven't continued on what I said in my last month's TBR, but that's okay. I don't mind that I haven't read them. So that is it for my TBR. Let me know what you're reading this month down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you, but thank you again so much for watching this video. I'll come chat to you down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.